Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video, the first one for 2022. And it's an important one because I actually waited a couple days instead of actually covering it when it came out. I want to talk about the Rate Up SSR Pity System because after seven, going on seven years, Fago has finally added a pity system, something I thought would never actually happen and at this point, most people thought it would never actually happen because they make so much money over Fist, it didn't make sense for them to ever add a pity system. But they have, and like any other, and as expected, it kind of has a lot of negatives and some positives as well. So I wanted to talk about it once all the info was known because it came out on the JP side. So yeah, that's what's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you know what to do. Leave a like, comment down below. Tell me how you feel about it specifically. I know there was a lot of people who were not satisfied with it, did not feel it was enough based off how much money this game makes. They should have had a better pity. But that's the weird thing about it, huh? Sometimes it feels like the games that make the less money have the better pity and the ones that have the worst pity make the most money. <laughs> so, some money. it's unfortunately a money-driven world. So let's get into it, huh? Okay, so if you don't know, in the New Year's for Japan, it's not on the NA version of the game. Chances are the North American version of the game won't get this feature until two years from now. So plan accordingly. So here's what is it, it uh, here, let me just quickly read it here. Confirm summon uh, system, also known as the Rate Up SSR Pity, is a system that safeguards the player from overspending for a single copy of the SSR. When a master fails to summon the Rate Up SSR in a given banner, the Rate Up SSR will be guaranteed on the 330th roll. That only happens once per banner. Any other summons after that will not have any guarantee, but only after the banner itself. So 330 rolls is uh, 900 uh, sync quartz. The reason it's like that is because if, after every 10 rolls you get a free one. So that's why it's 330 rolls instead of just 300 rolls. Silly, but basically 30 summons, 30 multi summons will get you what you need. Um, okay, so the terms and conditions. The pity, the pity counter does not get carried over from one banner to another, so it's not like Genshin, where Genshin's kind of carries over from banner to banner to banner. It's not what we're working with here. Only eligible for the first instance that you obtain a rate-up SSR. So if you wanted to get six copies of a unit for what is a se I guess if you are super well, this stops you, because once you get the featured SSR once, it's gone. But it has to specifically be the rate-up SSR. If you get a, uh, spooked by a random SSR, then it won't kill your pity. The system only applies to banners with a rate-up SSR, and that banner must have the end duration. This means story summons will not have this system. So no absolute, again, no reason to ever summon on story banner, unless you somehow feel like it. For cases where a summon summoning banner has rotating rate-up SSRs, the pity counter resets the moment it rotates to the next SSR. Additionally, if the rate-up SSR gets rotated back in the same summoning campaign, it does not carry the pity counter from its previous appearance. So, from what I understand of this... Um, yeah, this one's the weird one. From what I understand, it's, it sounds like it resets every time it rotates, but it doesn't... If it gets back to the same summoning campaign, you don't get your pity counters from last time. So either you summon all at once and get them, or you just wait for the last day. <laughs> it's really, uh, it's it's weird that it's like that. It's because the way banners work in Fago, they rotate. Honestly, I would actually prefer it if they just separated banners from now on. That would make things so much more simpler and clean and not have this stupid system that they have right now. I think this is actually the worst part about it. The fact that it resets whenever it changes to things because there's certain banners where it resets all the time. So your best chance of rolling something if you're going for pity is if you do not have all the material at, with you at the time is to wait for the final day. That's your best chance of getting it because if you <laughs> summon with everything you have on the first day and it rotates out, then you're kind of screwed. Yeah, very weird for them to add this in. I think they should just actually start... They should really stop doing this weird rotating banner thing now that I think about it, if this is the way it kind of goes. Um, and honestly, they should update this, because this is dumb that it's like this. It's honestly dumb. Anyway, pity count is lost the moment the banner ends, duh. Even if you own the servant that is on rate up, you can still benefit from the system. The system does not track whether or not you own the servant, but only if you have summoned that summit from the banner itself. Types of currency eligible for pity count is both paid and free quartz and the uh, tickets. 
Types and roles eligible for pity count, one paid SQ day, summon, regular, single summon, 10 plus one summon, 2x uh, regular summon from reaching the 10th single uh, roll. Story summon and friend point summons it excluded from the system. Any Plex reserves the right to modify whether a Cam King can fit this feature or not, even if it has a limited. Wow. Any Plex refuses the right to modify whether a campaign can have the feature or not. That's not good. That's a lot of red flags. Additional notes. If text is seen on the banner, it means this banner will no longer have the 330 rolls guaranteed. This occurs only when the pity has been used. Either obtain the servant earlier than expected or reach 330 rolls and obtain the servant. Pity counter will also be shown in this line and has not been reached yet. For a 10 plus 1 summons in the event of a rate of SSR guarantee happens, it will not conflict with the guaranteed SR card and R guaranteed R servant perk that comes with 10 plus 1 summon. The system is separate from the 10 plus 1 summon perk, that means if it will not overlap with the guaranteed SR, but the gate, but the getting the rate up SSR on the banner itself will end the pity counter for that banner. Okay. Whew. A lot to go over. So obviously, there's a lot of faults in this if you're playing on the JP side. There's so many faults in this if you're playing on JP. It's not even funny. For one, this really only benefits big whales, which there are plenty in Fago. So if you're someone who's like not a whale, then congratulations, there's no real way for you to reach pity unless you just stop summoning. But you play the JP version of the game, you're always going to be summoning. That's just the way the, the way the world works, unfortunately. Eventually something will show up and you won't be prepared for it. If you're someone like me though, who plays North America and you have two years of waiting, then this system is great for you because now you finally have a known endpoint. You need 900 SQ or 300 uh, single summon tickets, anything like that, and you'll be able to guaranteed get the unit. Why is that such a big thing? It's still a big thing because believe it or not, there are people on the NA version of the game that wait an entire two years for the unit they want and they save over easily over a thousand Saints Quartz. I've seen someone save over 2,000 in the past along with over 500 summon tickets and did not get the unit they wanted. And just to let that sink in, to, sp to wait two years, have all this material and to still not get what you want is insane. It is actively <laughs> the worst ever. Only in this game can there be such bad luck where you can spend that much. I don't think there's any other gotcha at this moment where you could spend that much and basically get nothing, but it's totally possible in this game. So while, yeah, it's the thing you'll hear more than anything is that it's better than nothing, it's holy shit, it's better than nothing. And for the people who say they may as well not have it, you're out of your fucking mind if you think that, <laughs> that you should have nothing over this, because this is still better than nothing. It's... It is really weird. There's a lot of like weird instances of it where it feels like they didn't know how to. It's the spaghetti code in Fago where it's like, why is it built like this? And I'm going to only assume it's because the code in Fago is trash. It has been known to be trash. So I'm hoping that they'll be able to improve it over time. Like obviously by anniversary, I think that they will hopefully have fixed some of the weird pity counter stuff because I bet a lot of people, even on the JP side, are telling them, hey, the pity counter reset is maybe the worst thing about this. You should fix that because it doesn't make any sense. Fair enough if it's here for the banner ends, but for you to lose your pity in the middle of the banner, it makes no sense. Like it should keep track of absolutely everything. And maybe I'm not fully understanding some of this here because of the way the wit's worded, but it really does sound like you just always lose it no matter what, which just means that you summon on the last day if you're looking to hit pity, if you don't have the material ready for it. Um. I've also, I think some of the quick maths is that 900 St. Quartz, if you're starting at zero, is around $450 or so, which is a lot to ask, but again, it's funny because I think on the JP side of the game, I've noticed something that the way they play is that they buy, they play on iOS and they buy gift cards, but then the gift cards are usually discounted. So the discounted gift cards are, they save them and they wait for the day of the banner. That's why they're able to summon so much. It's not that they're spending crazy money, it's that they're buying <laughs> discounted things and then summoning when the day comes, but they're also holding off to them, making sure not to use them until the day comes. It's very weird. I don't really know a lot of people who do that over here. I think usually over here that's more seen with vendoring, but over there it's not vendoring. That's just how you kind of roll, I guess. It's very interesting, to say the least, I think, on that part. 
But yeah, I think that this is a good first step forward. Anything that is better than nothing in my eyes. And again, maybe it's a little bit clouded because of the fact I play on NA. Now I know for a fact that there's a unit coming in two years. I just save and I, I instantly get them, which is opposed to this current system where I can save and then I have to pray to God that um, I get out okay. Because that's really the only real way to get it is to have insane luck or to have some kind of prayer and hope for the best. So, yeah, definitely a lot of things. Th this is actually the worst thing, I think, here, too, as well. The Anaplex reserves the right to modify whether a campaign can fit this feature or not. That makes it feel like this was a fight to actually get it into the game. And they included this rule specifically because Anaplex did not actually want the GSSR to be included in the game at all. So they gave him the option to, hey, if you ever want to have a campaign not have it, then congratulations, you now have the right to no longer include a GSSR on it. And I think that's more telling about who's actually running things in the background of Fogo than anything, is that it's Ediplex at the end of the day, kind of putting in a lot of these weird restrictions in it. It's a weird game. This game makes uh, way too much money for them to ever want to include a pity, and I'm gonna guess that this was a big fight to even get it in there. So, we now just have to, now that it's actually in the game, continue to fight to improve it and continue forward and hope that eventually the right people win in those debates. But yeah, that's all I have to say about this. I think it's, again, a system that has been needed to go in. Surprise is actually going in. There's a lot of problems with it. Should be hopefully fixed over the years. And yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a good day. Have a good night. Goodbye. I need to get off here. Goodbye.